NASA's new light speed engine that defies physics. Space is cosmic. It is so enormous that even if we could travel at the speed of light, which we still can't do, it would take us four years just to get to the nearest star system. The universe is continually expanding at a rate faster than the speed of light, and so it has only been getting bigger for the last 14 billion years. There is no definitive answer even to why the universe is so vast that it is hard to know if there are others out there too. Consider this, it takes us three days to get to the moon, seven months to get to the closest planet to us, that's Mars, 15 years to get to Venus, six years to get to Jupiter, seven years to get to Saturn, 8.5 years to get to Uranus, 9.5 years to get to the closest dwarf planet, that's Pluto, and 12 years to get to Neptune, the furthest planet. The Sun is 147.71 million kilometers away from Earth. 1 AU, which stands for astronomical unit, is equal to 149,598,000 kilometers or 92,955,887 miles. It separates the Earth from the Sun and we could travel there in 25 days in the best case scenario. So what is the size of the universe? It is infinite. Currently, the universe spans 93 billion light years with one light year equaling 63,000 astronomical units. As a result, one light year is equal to 9 trillion kilometers or 6 trillion miles and our universe has a diameter of 93 billion light years. That is the size far from being complete. The observable universe, the universe that we can currently view, spans 93 billion years. The whole universe might be 250 times bigger than the visible universe with a diameter of at least 7 trillion light years. Space is extraterrestrial. The idea of traveling into space has fascinated humans for decades. Space is huge, but so is the human desire to truly explore and conquer the universe. But how can we truly push the limits of space travel if we simply lack the technology to do so? The truth is that we can master and use light speed technology, but it just won't be easy. The notion is known as the Alcubierre drive, and it was developed in 1994 by physicist Miguel Alcubierre. He stated that his design would extend space-time on one side of a spaceship and constrict it on the other, creating a bubble that would allow the spacecraft to function outside of physics. Essentially, instead of the spaceship moving to a destination, the destination would technically be moving towards the spaceship, making the distance shorter and quicker to travel. It has been compared to a party trick you may have seen many times. Remember when a friend or family member grabbed a tablecloth that was sitting underneath a bunch of plates and glasses on a table and quickly ripped it out without making a mess or breaking a single piece of kitchenware? Imagine that a spaceship using the Alcubierre drive is the glass on top of the tablecloth, and the drive is the force whipping it out from underneath. The entire distance of the tablecloth is traveled in the blink of an eye. His theory of general relativity gave scientists an idea of how space-time bends in response to the existence of matter and energy. Building on this revolutionary idea is how Alcubierre came up with his futuristic warp drive. However, if NASA wants to conquer light speed with this proposed warp drive, they may face a major problem. The major issue is that the type of energy required for the Alcubierre drive simply does not exist they would be able to fulfill their aims much more easily if they created a bubble in the shape of solutions. Solutions are waves that have only one crest, self-focusing and intrinsically non-linear. The process cancels out a wave's natural propensity to spread as it propagates, resulting in the formation of solutions. They may therefore travel a considerable distance while preserving their form. They are similar to ripples on a lake in that they keep the whipping motion while maintaining a steady velocity. Dr. Eric Lentz, an American physicist, suggests that creating this type of space-time bubble would only require conventional energy production techniques. If that's true, then NASA could travel at great speeds indeed. They could move at the speed of light without needing more energy. If the theory of Lenz is correct, he may have just given NASA exactly what they needed to whip through the universe at remarkable speeds. Regardless of which approach they take, NASA is working on their very own warp drive. 
Elon Musk has his own thoughts on Warp Drive and has anchored his settlement on Mars as one of the main driving factors to spur the development of a Warp Drive. Right now, there are only some people who feel it's necessary, but when we have settlers looking to move back and forth between Earth and Mars, then the demand will make it compelling to allocate resources to develop the concept further. As per an internal report, if you were to travel to our nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, the trip would appear to take little more than 4.25 years from the perspective of an observer on Earth, but the travel time would be a little more than 5 days. They could travel there to do a bit of exploration and come back in less than a fortnight, but everyone here at home would have aged more than 8 years. As you can imagine, this type of time distortion could become very dangerous for astronauts. The truth is that any trip using light speed warp drives would test the limits of humanity. This isn't the kind of technology that would be used on a trip to the moon or Mars. The farther out our travelers go, the more danger lurks. It is not much known for the deep research of space that warp drives would allow us to explore and NASA is still trying to work out the kinks of warp drives and figure it all out.